Good morning everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Monday morning, it is 8.30 and I am off to Lamedusa to go and deal with this mop on my head. It is a crazy busy week and I thought it would be really fun for you guys to come along with me. It's a bit of a different week, to be honest. Just starting off with Lamedusa, it's gonna take a couple of hours to get my hair done, and then I'm off to London. I've got a few meetings. I'm going to go and see my cashmere family, Pieta Costello, to see their new store in Marlebone. Quickly have a look at their autumn winter collection, and I believe I'm collecting a few bits and pieces, so I will do a must-have cashmere haul for you. And then I have one more meeting over in Knightsbridge. Tomorrow I have a photo shoot, We've got lots of different brands involved. We will literally be shooting all day, so I cannot wait to show you that and how basically the behind the scenes and what happens on a photo shoot. It's going to be country luxury lifestyle and it's going to be amazing. And then Wednesday, I've got to be up in town. I believe it's North London for a photo shoot with Tivon Fine Jewelry. As you guys know, probably by now, I am the face of a jewelry brand. And on Wednesday, we are shooting their brand new campaign. I can't wait. Every single time I see the new collection, I just fall in love all over again. And it is truly so special to work with brands that I absolutely worship. So I'm so so excited for that. Thursday, Friday, it's a busy, busy few days at Hurley House. We have lots of our top clients in, my VIPs having lunches and dinners, so it's going to be a couple busy days there. And then on Saturday, we are off to the Goodwood Ball. So <laughs> it is a jam-packed week, and yes, I am running three minutes behind schedule, so I will stop boring you to death. Just arrived at La Medusa, let's go and get a full head of highlights and get ready for a very very, very busy week. The hair is done. Freya has done an amazing job with the colour. I'm in love with it and I'm already in town and on my way to Pieta Costello to go and see their autumn winter collection. They have a beautiful store in Marlebone. This is a brand new store. This is your autumn winter collection. It is absolutely exquisite. You've got very thin, you've got medium, you've got incredible thick cropped jackets. If you invest in great quality garments and clothing, they will last a lifetime. I have so many beautiful pieces from over the years and I obviously look after them, but they will last forever. But every single season they bring out just the most beautiful pieces. I mean, talk about a bell sleeve. Isn't that beautiful? I've picked out a few of my key favorite pieces and I'm gonna show you guys how I style them for autumn and winter. And you can even style these beautiful pieces for key moments throughout spring and summer as well. I cannot wait for you guys to see how I style it. Oh, I need to get out of here. <laughs> it's so dangerous. I'm falling in love with absolutely everything. One of my favorite pieces here in Pieta Castello is this classic long cardigan, but it's belted so that you can either wear it very loose and very chilled or whether you can belt it and create a really gorgeous, cozy yet glamorous look. Again, they've got creams, ecra, I mean, how delicious is that cashmere skirt? I'm thinking either a polo neck or even a Wolford body underneath. Just trying on a few of the pieces. I've actually put one of their <laughs> spring summer silk jackets. It's the last one that they have, but when they have these, honestly pick them up because they will be key staples in your wardrobe. And then I've placed a classic high-waisted cashmere, please excuse my underwear, I've got the wrong underwear on for today <laughs> and it's high waisted with a beautiful waistband that really holds you in but they are absolutely beautiful 100% cashmere when you invest in pieces like this they last forever Good morning everybody, happy Tuesday. Today we have a very busy one. I am shooting today, we've got lots of brands to get through and we are shooting all things luxury country content. I'm working with some of my favorite brands and I cannot wait to show you what we are up to during today. Chloe has just arrived and we're gonna have such fun. Not only is she one of my 
closest friends. She just gets the shot every single time. I've also just had a delivery from one of the brands that we're shooting today called Olivia Darcy. So I'm gonna quickly unbox that. And then that needs to go off to be steamed and we will be shooting the first look, which is Pietro Costello. So let's do this. So this is the first look. It's a brand called Pieta Costello, which is a sustainable cashmere brand. It is absolutely gorgeous. We have a little guest visitor. Hi, baby. <laughs> it's very tonal with lots and lots. Anyway, we've got this incredible high-waisted cashmere skirt. It's got the amazing waistband that really, really holds you in. And you guys know I love a bell sleeve. It's a beautiful soft cashmere. It's a pale beige and it's got these incredible bell sleeves. And I have paired it with a classic pair of Paris Texas booties. I bought these last season, but I think they are an absolute classic that I can bring out time and time again. I don't know about you guys, but I love this look. I'm gonna quickly pop on the next look and continue shooting. The next look is this beautiful Pieta Costello, almost like a ballerina skirt. It's got the leather waist belt, which really, really makes it look super luxury. And then I've paired it with a classic Wolford bodysuit. Now, I have these bodysuits in every color. They are worth every single penny. I think I bought my first one about 12 years ago. It's not washed out and they are staples that every woman needs in her wardrobe. And again, I have paired it with my classic Paris, Texas boots. Right, let's pop on the next outfit. And the final look from Pieta Costello is the heavenly silk jacket. Now I think if you invest wisely in silk, you can style it for spring, summer, autumn, and winter. But for today, for my autumnal photo shoot, I've paired it with the Ecru Cashmere skirt. Again, it's got the beautiful waistband, but with the silk jacket over the top, I think it looks so timeless and elegant, yet still a little bit sexy without anything <laughs> underneath. Right, let's quickly pop on Olivia Darcy and we'll get through the next looks quickly. This is the first dress from Olivia Darcy. It is a pale pink silk number. You have it slightly shorter at the front, but if I stand on this step, you can see the elegant length from the back. It is stunning, very whimsical. It's got the deep V, these beautiful sleeves. It's actually a fantastic contender as a bridesmaid's dress. It also comes with a waist belt that you can really, really nip yourself in, but you can also have it without the waist belt, creating this very relaxed, slightly slightly whimsical look, but I'm in love. The second Olivia Darcy is this dreamy number. It is a burnt rose halter neck, but I love the details. You have it slightly shorter at the front, longer at the back, which makes it super elegant, but can we just talk about the back? It is so sexy, yet it has the halter neck detail at the front. It's so beautifully cut that it cuts at the perfect amount for no side boob, but a lot of sexy at the back. <laughs> And for the final Olivia Darcy look today, we have this unique black silk twin set, and I am obsessed. The sleeves are an absolute masterpiece. It has an amazing, intricate back. I have just finished shooting these looks, and I'm so looking forward for you guys to see the imagery and to show you how I styled it in a luxury lifestyle setting. We have a couple more bits to shoot. We are going outdoors the rain has just stopped so hopefully we won't get too wet <laughs> good morning everybody happy wednesday i'm on set with tivon fine jewelry today and we are shooting their brand new campaign vicky is just finishing off my makeup and we've gone for a very natural makeup to start off with and then obviously we can always add more we've got the clothes behind us and i cannot wait to show you some of these jewelry pieces they are truly breathtaking.
This is our setup for today. We've got Ariel, who is the founder and owner of the business. And we have the rail with all the clothes. We're going for very striking boss woman vibes today. We're doing a few little test shots over here with one of the neck pieces on. Susie is getting the light to perfection and I cannot wait to get going. today for the photo shoot. So Ariel, tell me a little bit about this necklace and what the design thought process was behind it. So what we're looking at is our brand new candy collection, all inspired by natural, unheated, candy colored sapphires from Madagascar, all vivid pink, purples, reds. And as you can see, absolutely stunning combination, perfect for every occasion. <laughs> For the right lady. The okay. hard sell. Well, absolutely, absolutely. Well, oh, I must say, I listen. How could you go to Waitrose or Tesco's without a necklace like exactly. that? Exactly. You'll see my local shop wearing this beautiful necklace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Robbers, please don't go visit her. Her local shop. <laughs> with a morganite and aquamarines set in square cut diamonds, matching earrings, and it also has a beautiful ring. It's so hard to doing these shoots because I never ever want to take the jewelry off. And when it comes to going home, take all the jewelry off, wipe off the makeup, do about four hair washes, and then I'm finally back to myself. But we're having the most incredible day. We're now gonna shoot loads of product shots, and yeah. Still got quite a bit to shoot, so let's keep going. We are now putting the hair up for the final few looks. Vicky is gonna work her magic. What do you think we're gonna do? I think we're gonna go up. Maybe, you know, have a bit of volume, which I think would be gorgeous. We need a bit of shorty. And the updo is finished. We've got my signature side piece, the bun at the back, and now we're going to smash out these product shots. <laughs> I have found my favorite ring of all time from Tivon Fine Jewelry. It is this breathtaking aquamarine. Have a look at this exquisite stone. The color, the depth, the setting, the diamonds. Honestly, it is just incredible. goodness me <laughs> I've just got in the car after such a long day but an incredible day to say the least I adore working with Tivon Fine Jewelry I've worked with them for three years now as the face of the brand and every single collection truly just gets better and better I don't know whether I have so much more passion for the brand or the products or just the exquisite jewelry or whether Ariel's designs just get more and more breathtaking. Anyway, it has been such an amazing day. I have so much makeup on. My hair probably won't move for at least a few weeks. I've got quite a drive home, so I am going to quickly shoot off. I'm sad. 
in an underground car park is making me slightly nervous um but yes let's drive home i'm hoping to pick something up for dinner on the way home because marcus is not going to be very happy with me i left at half past six this morning and it is currently 10 to 8 in the evening so by the time i get home it's gonna be late bad bad wife over here anyway i am on the grind career driven woman over here you know some days you've got to work hard ladies and gentlemen anyway i am yabbiting on so i will see you when we get home home sweet home hi <laughs> my beauties my beauties hi evil speaking oh mommy missed you so much home sweet home and absolutely exhausted what a day but i cannot wait to see all the content that we shot today and share it with you guys i'm going to make a very quick dinner and then spend the evening with mark and the sausages so i'm gonna sign off here and i will see you bright eyed and bushy tailed tomorrow hi team happy thursday it is half past five in the afternoon and it has been a very busy day i've been at hurley house today i have hosted a few vip lunches and then this afternoon whilst i've had a little bit of quiet time i've been catching up on some admin a few brand reach outs some client calls um got a lot of luxury sourcing to do so trying to keep my head down i have a few clients here honestly my phone has not stopped today. I've got two computers going on. I genuinely feel a bit broken from the past few days. I'm so cold. I don't know whether it's because I'm wearing a very thin silk shirt and it is actually a bit colder than I anticipated this morning. Um, but yes, I'm feeling very tired today. Actually, to be honest, a bit low today. I don't know why, because I've had the most amazing week so far. Obviously, we're going through one of the most devastating times um, with the Queen, but I must say, I feel so proud to be British at the moment, and it's just remarkable the way that we do things in this country and how truly inspirational, admirable, just phenomenal woman that she was um, and I just think watching the news and seeing the royal family and their faces and just the pure grief yeah I think it's getting to me a little bit like it is for everyone anyway I am going to be at Hurley House until quite late this evening. I have a few clients popping in tonight, of which I will be looking after them. And yes, I've got so much more to get on with and I will see you guys tomorrow. I've had so many requests to show you guys what my skincare routine is. And I thought after a few days of photo shoots, it is the most important time to look after my skin. So I will show you all of that. So I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday from a beautiful blue skied, glorious sunshine day. Mark and I decided to get up and get ready and go up to London today to go and pay our respects to the Queen and just go and be a part of this just astonishing and remarkable time things that we're seeing on the news is just i think it's a once in a lifetime experience and we will take you with us and just show you just a few of the scenes maybe some of the flowers i think it's going to be so moving Absolutely remarkable, and the smell from all the flowers is heavenly. Everybody's laying their tributes, their cards, balloons, drawings, obviously, flowers. 
and this must go for miles absolutely miles and miles look at this beautiful one here oh gosh this is so moving never experienced anything like it in my whole life never seen anything like it we are walking down right directly in front of the Ritz Hotel in the middle of the traffic just to get through the queues are astonishing really I've never ever had this experience in my entire life good evening everybody happy Sunday I'm sorry I didn't come on and speak to you after I showed you the scenes in St James's Park and all the people at the Ritz, it was quite possibly one of the most moving and extraordinary experiences of my life. Just to have been a part of it and to lay some flowers and have a moment to reflect myself and to see how the Queen has made an impact or just touched every single person's life it was just astonishing so yeah yesterday i was almost in a bit of an odd place i felt extreme honor and privilege to have been here and to have lived when she was in rain and to witness how incredible this woman was really i'm not doing it justice whatsoever uh, there are no words to try to explain what has been going on and I'm so proud to be British. This is just one of the most extraordinary times and um, yeah, anyway, I'm rambling on. So many of you have asked for a skincare routine. So I thought I would show you guys a little bit of my Sunday wellness evening. As you can see, it is dark outside and I'm in my pajamas in my bathroom and I'm going to show you some of my favorite products. As you've seen, it's been a crazy week and especially this week I've had so much makeup on, so many different products that my skin is not used to, certainly some very rich products. So I'm going to do a routine this evening that focuses on calming, nourishing, a lot of hydration. So let's jump straight into this. I currently have makeup on, so I need to do a deep cleanse, but I really, really need to look after my skin because from the products that I've had on all week, there could be a breakout pending, which we do not want. <laughs> I am one that loves a double cleanse. And so I always go in with Chantecaille's Rice and Geranium Foaming Cleanser. As you can see, I love this so much. I'm actually almost out of it. It is such a beautiful cleanser. A little bit goes a long way, I promise you need this much. I rub it into, oh, I should be tying my hair back, that was not a very good idea. We'll put this on my face and then I'll tie my hair back. I rub it into my skin dry and then I take a tiny bit of water and it really, really it starts to foam up. It is truly such an incredible cleanser. I am back, my hair is tied up and I've got <laughs> the cleanser on my face. I'm going to literally damp my hands slightly and then I'm going to start rubbing that product into my face. And as you can see, it has already started to foam up. It really, really gets into your skin. It takes all of your makeup off. It's so soothing. The smell is absolutely beautiful. And I cannot tell you how clean my skin feels after using this cleanser. This is one that I use every single night without fail. And I don't tend to do a double cleanse every night because this cleanser is so amazing. But if I'm doing a Sunday wellness evening, I will then go in with my Rose de May Balm because it is such a beautiful, nourishing cleanser. I'm actually going to pop a tiny bit more on and show you how much, 
be dripping everywhere. It's not very clever. Look at that. It is so amazing. I'm gonna go all in. My goodness me, what do I look like? I look like a mad woman. Sorry, my mirror is there, so that's where I'm looking. And I just work it in everywhere. My eyes. I should really take my earrings out as well. What do you think about that? My lips. Oh gosh, I love this product so much. When you try this cleanser, you'll know what I mean. That when you wash your face, it's almost squeaky clean. Simply splash my face with water to take the cleanser off. I've just washed my face and that is the first cleanse done. I'm now going to double cleanse because as I just said, I've had such a full on week with so much makeup, I can't even tell you. This is Chantecai's Rose de May Cleansing Balm. It is again, a really, really beautiful product. It feels like a thick balm and it looks like a thick balm, but once you put it onto the skin and add just a dash of water, it turns into a milk. And again, it's such a nourishing and soothing product. I sometimes like to keep this on my skin for three to four minutes, just as a balm, and really, really massage it into the skin. Oh my goodness. I can see my camera is about to run out of battery. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is going on today? So if my camera runs out of battery, I'm going to apologize in advance. I really need to invest in another battery pack and then this wouldn't happen. Add it to the list for next week. <laughs> anyway, I'm just massaging that into my skin. All areas, take it down my chin and down my neck. I am going to have to take these pearls out in a minute. This is not good for them. And that is going to just repair my skin from any damage, any potential breakouts, and nourish it with all the beautiful vitamins and botanicals that are in these Chantecai products. It's not a surprise to anybody that I am obsessed with the brand. Their philanthropy is truly incredible and it's all natural, it's all beautiful botanicals and ingredients that are in all of their products. If you don't know about Shantakai, I will leave a link below and links to all of these products. And I highly, highly recommend them. They have just changed my skin and really protect it from everything <laughs> that I put my skin through. Right, I'm going to add a dash of water and you guys can see that this product just turns into a milk. I'm going to simply massage my face for a few minutes, wash this off and come back. Hopefully my camera will allow me to film this before dying. <laughs> I've just washed that off and I'm now going to use Chantecai's Gold Recovery Mask and it does just that. It's infused with really powerful, rich ingredients. Honestly, I saved this for special occasions. It has the most beautiful packaging and I peel back the top bit. I use a brush, you can also use a spatula or even your nail and just rub it across your face and a little bit goes a long way. And I simply brush the product a very thin amount across my face, and already I can feel it's so soothing. I leave it on for about 20 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes, you can leave this longer, but I wouldn't suggest doing it overnight because it is a rich mask. And once you wash it off, you glow. Honestly, I'm not exaggerating. I can't wait for you guys to try this product because it really works miracles. So I'm just placing that across my face, under my eyes, really all over. A very thin amount, <laughs> sparingly, because it is an expensive product. But I promise you, if you invest in good skincare and in the long run, you'll be so much better off. If you look after your skin when you're younger with good products, fantastic ingredients and SPF, you will thank me later. So that is on. 
and I am going to leave that, as I said, for about 20 to 30 minutes and then I'm going to wash it off and come back. But you guys can see that it almost has like a very, very slight gold shimmer to it. It's infused with 24 karat gold and silk extracts. It has a probiotic, which is really, I think, what's behind creating such a glowing and revitalized complexion. It's definitely going to help my skin from the week we've had. I'm then going to move on to an eye serum and finish off with a moisturizer to complete my Sunday wellness video for you guys. I'm just taking off the mask with a damp, warm flower and my skin feels just so soft and beautiful my goodness me what a spoily evening I'm having now going to use a dry towel just to dab my face <laughs> I'm like please no one screenshot me doing that <laughs> I look like such a lunatic I still can't believe that I'm coming on YouTube without a scrap of makeup. But anyway, we're here. You guys asked for this video, so I am doing it. And I wish, it sounds like a weird thing to say, but I wish you could feel my skin. It is so soft and it is just glowing. I don't know whether you can see that. It's almost like I'm wearing highlighter. I should say I've still got the pearls in. I definitely need to take these out. Right, as I said before, I'm going to finish off with an eye serum. Now, I'm going to stay in the gold Chantecaille family. They have different ranges, and my two favorite ranges are the Rose de May, which is super light, very calming, nourishing, and then you have the gold collection, which, as I said before, I tend to only use when I've had a really busy week and I feel that my skin really needs the help. So this is Chantecaille's Nano Gold Energizing Eye Serum. It is amazing. It just banishes any signs of dark circles underneath your eyes. It's obviously anti-aging, preventing any wrinkling, hopefully. <laughs> um, if when I'm 60 and I have wrinkles, Chantecaille, I'm coming for you. <laughs> goodness but it comes in this beautiful bottle and you put it upside down it has the roller ball at the end and oh my goodness just the feeling of this on my face and I just do little circles on my temples I bring it down and almost like a triangle and it's so soothing and relaxing and I do it on obviously both eyes I work it around my temples to hopefully get rid of any crow's feet and it really does just take away any signs of dark circles. It's meant to be very brightening and in the morning I do notice a very big difference with this. Again, I don't use it every day. I probably use it once a week and I try to keep it for a Sunday because it is such a spoily product and as I have it literally in front of me. This is the product that I use most days. This is Chantecaille's Rose de May Eye Lift. And again, it has a beautiful applicator. I use that every day. And then finally, the last step to my Sunday wellness routine is the Flower Harmonizing Cream. This is my ride or die product. If anybody was to ask me <laughs> what my favorite skincare product is of all time, it is this. When I was younger, it's probably like 14 or 15, I used to sneak into my mother's bathroom and steal this and just smother myself in it. And now I know the cost of this. I'd be horrified myself if anybody dreamt of doing that to my flower harmonizing cream. And as you can see, I love it so much. It is actually empty. My camera ran out of battery. I feel like this is taking forever. Maybe I should just give up. But as I was saying before it cut me off, this is such a beautiful moisturizer. It is all about anti-stress. It soothes. It's got rich botanicals in it. It's got essential oils. It's got seaweed. It truly has everything to really soothe, calm, and nourish the skin. 
If there's any product that Shantakai does, this is the best one. I know I shouldn't say that, but I highly, highly recommend it. And I will leave a link below to all of the products, but if there's one that you have to choose, definitely this one. And that is my Sunday skincare routine done. As you know, it has been a jam-packed week and I really hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with me. I love sharing what I get up to and taking you along for the ride and I cannot wait to show you so much more coming over the coming months. But there is so many exciting things coming up and I can't wait to share it with you. But it is Sunday evening at five as you can see that five to ten and marcus is going to be wondering what on earth i'm doing in here with a light and my camera and a load of skincare out and so i'm going to bring this vlog to an end and my camera is flashing at me again so i hope you guys have truly enjoyed watching this vlog and as always sending you so much love